that? With men, you have to train them. It's it's real. Like when you know how people train dogs. You can train a man. You have to train a man. Oh yes. Oh, you have to train him on how to treat you. Not all women, not some women, not good women, bad women, just you. And you train him not with your words. You train that man with your energy. You train him with your energy. Okay, but this is not a game, ladies. That powerful feminine energy. Yes. She might be on drugs, guys. She might be on drugs. She's talking a little too slow. She might be on drugs. I'm not saying don't care about him, but I'm saying don't care about him. <laughs> That's how you keep your power. That's how you keep your mystique. Be more quiet, more mysterious. Don't tell him everything. Make him work for it. For the rest of his life, feed him crumbs. Don't spend his money and raise his children. <laughs> A trophy wife knows that she always wakes up early, way earlier than her husband. The last two videos had me confused because this video she's doing the most to try to keep her relationship and please the man. So I don't know what the training and all the other things. It kind of got dismissed because she's out here working her butt off trying to. It's like the Cardi B. I don't cook or clean, but then she was actually cooking and cleaning. That's what got me confused. And spins that wife knows that she always wakes up early, way earlier than her husband, and spends that me time working out, getting showered doing her makeup and hair and getting ready for the day. So by the time him and the kids wake up and their day is starting, you're already there. You've already been clocked in. You've already arrived to the day. And everything just goes perfectly and smoothly. And of course, your husband gets to see you in your perfection, cooking and cleaning and raising his children. Do you know how much money that's going to make him want to throw you? Do you know how many shopping sprees that's going to make him want to take you out to? Do you know how many dates and lunches and drinks and happy hours and nice restaurants he's going to want to show you off in? Because you showed up every day as your best prettiest most gorgeous flawless self uh, so the first video she said train your man you got to train him like he's a dog train him to do things and i believe the second video she was like make him work for it and everything like feed him breadcrumbs and stuff like that basically saying that she run a relationship and you know like i said some of these women think that cardi b like they'll sit there and lie to you and then this video she says she wakes up five or four in the morning put on makeup dress up nice be prepared start cleaning up start getting everything ready i don't know I, I don't understand this level of training or saying that you run a relationship but then you wake up at four or three in the morning to make sure this man eats right make sure the kids are taken care of make sure you put on makeup to look at your best self at three or four in the morning but you out here training this man it's not like he trained you like some of these women, like I said, they want to just talk down to other women and like make it um seem like, you know, like they want to make it seem like they're better than other women, but they're no different. She's out here waking up three or four in the morning trying to do her best, look her best for her husband because she's trying to stay in a relationship. But she will also make content saying that I make him do this. I make him do that. It don't sound like it. If you waking up four in the morning because he well, he going to make money. OK, cool. But you out here waking up four in the morning, putting on makeup getting yourself fresh up to do whatever he needs you to do, making sure you take care of the kids, make sure you cook and clean and stuff like that four or five in the morning. That don't seem like he's trained. That seems like you're trained. But again, these women try to glorify themselves by saying I'm better than the other one because I got a husband. I got this. But these some of these women work their butt off to try to impress men, but they don't want to say the impressing man, but they want to say that, oh, I got my man on a leash. I'm doing this and stuff like that. Knowing that in a heartbeat, that man can cut, especially if the man is a resourceful man and he got his life together and he got real standards. 
he lets her know she's replaceable. So she gets this little moments where she gets to shine and talk other down to other women, but then he reminds her, you need to cut that stuff out. And she got to remind people that I wake up four in the morning to make sure he got food ready to go to work and everything. I make sure the kids are ready and stuff to go to school and everything. I make sure I clean the house and everything. And I got makeup on so you can still see my best version, my best self. So she's doing, she's going above and beyond to present the best version of herself at five or four in the morning so her husband will leave her. And she want to sit here and say, I'm training him. It don't seem like that's training. It don't seem like that's training. You know, like Tom said, he gonna make a lot of money. He was gonna make money regardless. He was gonna make money regardless. You just trying to make sure you stay in that circle of the people that he feeds and he take care of. So she's out here working her butt off, and she'll sit here and say, "I don't do this." Yes, you do. Most of the women just sit here on social media just a lie, capping the line. Like I'm subscribed, guys. Like I'm subscribed. 